Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Live. Okay, so there's times when your parents say, because I said so. Sometimes they just, they have to, but sometimes, if we're going to be honest, it's really not that helpful. Sometimes when we're dealing with God's law, just because I said so, isn't actually all that helpful. And so what the large catechism gives us is a chance to actually look behind the because I said so and start to understand the why God gives these commandments. And especially when it comes to the fifth commandment, brand new one, thou shalt not murder. What does this mean? Well, it actually helps when you look at the meaning. We should fear and love God, that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and protect him in all of his physical needs. You see, the fifth commandment is more than just killing's bad. If you actually start with the understanding that, well, God loves your neighbor too, and he wants to see your neighbor cared for, the whole thing starts to make a whole lot more sense, especially when you get into some of the intricacies of it. So Luther would write, Therefore, God and government are not included in this commandment, nor is the power to kill which they have taken away. For God has delegated his authority to punish evildoers to the government. So the reason that God commands the things that he does is because sin breaks stuff. When we break these commandments, it hurts the people around us, people that God cares about, people that God loves and actually wants to see taken care of. And so he gives us this commandment, thou shalt not murder, to see us taken care of. But here's the thing. Well, God will also give authority to try and limit the damage that sin does. Sometimes he'll even allow this in really horrible and violent ways. And, and that's the thing. Killing is always horrible. There's never a, a, a nice way to do it. There's never a time to relish in a human being losing their life. But we still ask soldiers to do that. They've been given by God to protect their neighbor inside of their vocation. And well, that doesn't make it easier. You can never look at a battlefield and, and say, yeah, I'm so glad that this whole thing happened. But what you can say is how much more harm would have come if it hadn't? How much more damage would have been done if evil hadn't been checked this day? This is why soldiers fight, even kill, is to protect. This is why police officers are called to protect and serve their communities. Government isn't supposed to work for selfish gain, but it's supposed to work inside of the vocation that God has given to protect its neighbor, even if that means something very horrible. And this is why God says inside of this vocation, those who work on behalf of the government are exempt from this commandment. They're not doing what they're doing for themselves. They're doing what they're doing to protect, to serve. And that's just no spin because there's, there's never really a spin that makes taking a human life seem painless. God doesn't think so either. It was a big deal when he sent his own son to take on human flesh and then to die for you and for me to atone for all the sins of the world. But if you're actually willing to start with the idea that, well, God wants to see you and your neighbors cared for, then, yeah, he will even give his son into death for you and for your neighbor to see that you're saved. And yes, he will even allow governments to kill and protect in this world to see you taken care of. God hates death, always. But he will wade through death itself and unto life again to see you and your neighbor cared for. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran.